What's up guys, Mike from Rockville, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to set up your rock booth DJ facade that comes with a mountable table. Let's get to it. So as you can see, it comes with a gig bag travel case, which makes it super easy and portable to take from gig to gig. And everything that you need for the facade is inside. Let's open it up. So this facade comes with both black scrims and white scrims for different looks. You can choose whichever one you want to put on. For this video, I'm going to put on the white scrim so that I can show you how to do a really cool effect at the end. But the process to put them on is exactly the same, so let's go ahead and put the scrims on. So the facade comes in two different parts. We have the actual facade part and then we have the table mount. So to start putting on the scrims, we're going to take our facade part and it opens up in four different points so that you can see all four panels. Let me open this up for you guys. You can see this is what actually makes the facade part of it. And what you want to do when you're putting on the scrims is actually lay this on the floor forward. So you want this part on the ground. Now you're going to want to lay the facade on the floor with the Velcro strips facing up towards the ceiling. So this side you should be able to feel the Velcro strips. And these Velcro strips is actually what you're going to use to attach the scrims to the facade. So if I take one of the four white scrims, you'll notice one side doesn't have Velcro and the other side does. So this Velcro is going to attach to the Velcro on the side of the facade. So basically you're going to take it, lay it out in a rectangular fashion and line it up with the Velcro on the side of the facade. So I'm going to take it, go edge by edge and you really want to stretch it out nice and tight. So I'm doing this side first, stretch it as tight as you can, get a nice connection so that you don't get any wrinkles on the other side. Once you get one side on, smooth it out with your finger. And then you're going to keep going. Take one corner, stretch it as tight as you can while holding down the other corner. And place it on the Velcro. Smooth it out with your finger as needed. You're going to basically do that for each side of the strip. Get it as tight as possible. And smooth it out. There we go. You're going to repeat this process three other times on three of the other panels with the three scrims. All right, once you have all of the scrims on, you can actually put the DJ facade right side up. Once we have the DJ facade up, we can decide if we want to leave it as is or put the table mount on. So I'm going to show you how to put the table mount on. But you could totally use it just like this with the table mount off and use it as a normal facade. So if you want to put the table mount on, you actually have to close in the sides over here to make a right angle at each side. You want to get it as right angle as possible where it looks like it lines up perpendicularly. Once you have the facade looking like this, you can then take your table mount. The way you want to line it up is you'll notice these two latches over here and the two latches on the side. You want the two latches over here facing outward towards the facade. Then what you're going to do is you're going to actually latch that on over here to the front of the facade. You're going to notice it locks right on over. Then with the side latches, you're going to line them up with the metal on the sides over here. And it should just fall into place. And you can see it's sturdy already as is. Now, a lot of other facades on the market that have a table mount don't include these four locks that we do to really get a secure fit. I mean, you're putting your expensive DJ gear on it. You don't want it moving or falling off. So we include these locks. You can actually screw these in so they lock right where the table connects to the facade. Now I just put the four locking knobs in and those four locking knobs are just gonna make sure that the top table mount doesn't move while you have your DJ gear on. Now you'll notice at each end of the table mount there are these two holes. These are actually for cable management. So when you have your controller, your DJ controller on top of it, you can actually route all of the cables underneath here and into the wall if you're plugging it in or just off to the side so everything on top looks nice and clean and there's no wire clutter. Now I chose to put a white scrim on purpose because I want to light it up for a cool effect with some of our par lights here which I'll show you how to do now. Now the par lights I'm using are rechargeable battery powered battery par 50 par lights. So I'm using the white ones here and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the four legs on the bottom, put this right on the floor, right up against the facade so that each light is going to light one of the four panels on the facade. So all you do is with this end, you're going to line it up straight with the facade, but you don't want it touching, you don't want it coming through indent, just like that. So I'm going to take another one, my third one, 
and the fourth one. Then what you're going to do is turn on all the par lights and turn off the house lights and we'll see what it looks like. So as you can see, this looks awesome. And the cool thing about the battery part 50s is if you have the remote that comes with it, you can change the colors on the spot for a really nice different effect each time. And it just creates a really cool ambiance for when you're DJing or having a performance. It makes the whole thing look super immersive. So hopefully this video showed you how easy it is to set up your rock booth. Remember, we put on the white strings, but the process to put on the black strings is exactly the same. It just gives the whole facade a different ambiance and look. But if you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out to us through phone or email. As always, guys, I'm Mike from Rockville. I'll see you next time.